Hi, my name is Allison Shar. I'm a care coordinator and a placement specialist for Legacy Home Care. Today we're talking about preventing falls in our home. Any one of us can fall. It doesn't matter how old we are, but statistics do show that one third of the population 65 and older will fall once, if not repeatedly. And there are reasons for this. As we grow older, our vision changes, our hearing changes, we lose muscle strength, and our reaction time slows down. So some of the things that we can do is we can make sure that we're getting our vision and our hearing checked regularly because they can change quickly. We wanna make sure an exercise, swimming is a fantastic exercise. Walking is a low impact exercise. And we wanna keep our core strength so that we don't fall. So keeping these things in mind will help us. However, we all wanna be as independent as possible for as long as possible in our own homes. And in order to do that, we want to make sure that our homes are safe. And so that's what we're doing today. We're taking a tour through my friend's home, uh, Mr. Fred and Joy Morse. And we're actually doing this in honor of a friend of ours, Mr. Ted Larson, who fell um, in his shower a couple months ago. And as a result, he passed away. We don't want this to happen to anyone else. And there's simple things that we can do in our homes. So follow me and we'll take a tour and see what you can do to keep your home safe. So they have this beautiful courtyard out here. One of the things you wanna consider is uh, your patio or your sidewalk that's leading up to your door. Do you have any cracks in it that you could catch your toe on that could cause a trip or a fall? Something as simple as just a little crack like this can be filled in and then that hazard is not a problem anymore. You wanna make sure that um, if you're keeping things, you know, if you've got kids or neighbor kids are coming over, train them to put their toys away. We could very easily be walking to the front door and catch a toe and go flying on this. So just again, make sure that they're trained to keep their things and put them away. Simple things that we have, you know, this nice little chair and bench. Um, it's great, but again, I could be walking along and completely trip over that. So simply just rearranging, putting things out of the way, making sure there's a nice big clear path. As far as lighting goes, you wanna use the highest wattage that your lighting appliance will allow. Uh, and if you don't have enough lighting, then install some more lights. Maybe you wanna consider some lights that lead up a sidewalk to your home, or maybe you wanna add an additional light to your front door. And a grab bar. People don't think about that at their front doors, but especially if you have a stoop that you have to crawl up or step up on, you wanna make sure, first of all, that you have a railing that's sturdy. If you have a railing and it's jiggling, that's a fall hazard. So have someone tighten it for you. But it may need that you need a grab bar at the front door that you can hold on to while you're opening your door. So let's go meet Fred and Joy and uh, tour their home. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, Fred. You're welcome. Glad to see you. Oh, glad to see you too. Oh, come so, and take a trip over the show. oh goodness. You know, this is one of the things that we do, and uh, it's so easy to do. We come in and we fling our shoes off, and those can be a trip hazard for sure. I mean, we could very easily not see those and go flying. Um, with in Arizona, we have a lot of tile floors, a lot of paneled floors, and they're beautiful. But we want to make sure as well that if we're going to be walking around on these uh, slippery surfaces, that if we wear socks, wear the type that have the little rubber dots on the bottom. You want to make sure that you have some gripping or just wear, you know, wear well-fitting shoes that have a good sole on them. So one of the solutions where we do kick our shoes off or we find something like that is to simply tuck them underneath another piece of furniture where we know I'm not gonna trip on that. And there's three simple words that we can remember off the floor. So whenever we look around and we see things on the floor that are gonna be a tripping hazard off the floor, whether we put them in a basket and tuck them away or we simply put them up on a shelf. They have a beautiful entry rug here. One of the things that I love that they've done is that they have rubber underneath it, so it's not gonna go anywhere. 
Otherwise, if I came in and this was sliding, I could very easily slide and fall. So down the hallway here, this is a perfect example of a rug. You know, we like area rugs, they're pretty, but are they really necessary? So this one, we very easily could go sliding on. So I would suggest either get a rubber backing for this one or consider, do you really need it there? Joy has a rug over here that is a little area rug and she has put some rubber backing in it underneath it and you can get that at like a, a you know a Lowe's or a Home Depot or someplace like that and it will prevent it from slipping so we're gonna walk into their lovely bedroom here what I like about this room is she's made sure that they have wide open spaces to get through especially at night you know we wake up during the night and we're tired we may have just come out of a dream we may be taking medication that makes us groggy we want to make sure that we have ample space to walk around in if we have to get up to go to the bathroom um, over here during the night especially i want to make sure that you know this chair is tucked in because if i get up i could very easily run into that chair and again go falling Telephone by the side of the bed. This is important. Um, and also a light by the side of your bed. And if you want to, just keep a flashlight by the side of your bed, and that way you don't have to wake everybody up with the lamp, but you've got a light that you can use to get to the bathroom. Your beds. Consider if your bed is too high, is it too low? If it's too high, people sometimes will take a mattress off to make it lower, easier to get onto. If it's too low, you can actually get bed risers. Um, I found them at Target before, and they just go on the bottom legs of the bed, and they actually elevate it so that when you get on it, it's at a natural height for you to sit on and to get up and off on. Everything looks really good in here. I do spot something here though, and again, this is off the floor. I'm guilty of this at home. Ladies, we put our purses on the floor, and look how I could catch my foot in that and it would just, it would be bad news. So I'm gonna put that off of the floor, especially when we have, uh, you know, a tile or a door or something that we could go flying into. We could really seriously get hurt. And did you realize that the smallest room in your house, the bathroom is one of the most dangerous? Uh, we know it's dangerous because, well, we've got water. We've got water from the sinks, we've got water from the tubs and it can become slippery in here so that number one is a problem you can get little mats but you want to make sure that they are absorbent and again that they don't move we don't want to have the rugs themselves be a fall hazard keep items tucked in this scale um, you know somebody probably used it and forgot to push it back under well it's clear I could very easily fall on that and then go hitting my head on the counter or the side of the tub. So simply push things out of the way. I love what Fred and Joy have done with their tub. Now if you take, it's really better if you're, if you're older to try to take showers, but we love our baths and we just want to make sure that we're able to get in and out of them safely. Joy and Fred have had a non-slip surface put down on the bottom of their tub and this can um, there are companies that can do this and we have resources if you're interested so that is really a huge improvement there joy has also installed they've installed a grab bar on the outside so she can hold on to this she can hold on to this as she gets into the tub and then when she gets up she can hold on make sure she gets her balance hold on hold on to the grab bar and step out one thing i see here though this is a, a towel how many of us just falls down when we step out of the bath or the shower and again it's a it's a huge slipping hazard so you're going to want to get an actual bath mat that has the rubber backing to it so that that doesn't happen same thing with how many times do we just throw our clothes in a pile or we throw our towels on the floor, tripping hazard. So off the floor, just hang them up. Just get into the habit of putting things back where they belong. So this is the area where she has her shower. 
And again, they have had a non-slip surface applied to the bottom of their shower. So it won't become slippery. You know, we use conditioner and shampoos and just with the soaps, it does get slippery. She also has added bars here, which I commend her for. She's got a bar to hold on to if she gets in. She's got a bar to hold on to here. And she's got a built-in shower bench, which is great, or you can get shower benches. You can get them through medical supply. You can order them on Amazon. Don't use a lawn chair. You need to have an actual shower chair that has the rubber tips. It's adjustable for your size, for your, you know, you, when you sit down. And they have a handheld shower. And those are so great because you can bring it down to you. If you're sitting in your, your shower chair, you just shower yourself. And they have this neat little holder here that they can actually hold it on the wall. So if they don't wanna hold it, they could just take their shower while they're sitting here. So that is, that is really a very important feature. This bath towel or bath mat here is what I was talking about. This is a nice absorbent bath mat, has sturdy rubber backing. So they're gonna put that outside before they get into the shower or the tub. And then after they step out and they're all dried off, they're dressed, they have shoes on that aren't gonna slip, they're gonna hang it back up. Because again, we don't want that rug to become a fall hazard in itself. Uh, toilet, their toilet is a, it's a little bit higher than some normal toilets, which is great. Because believe it or not, a lot of people get injured while going to the bathroom. Um, people fall between toilets and tubs, toilets and sinks, and they get stuck there. So there are some things that we can do to make the toilet safer we can actually use um, a higher uh, elevated toilet seat and they are made so that they are removable. You could get them again at a medical supply store. You can order them on Amazon, but they actually, they actually will just hook onto the seat. So the seat becomes higher. You can also get bars or handles, I should say, and they are uh, removable. They, they screw on to this part of the toilet so that you've got the handles to lower yourself and to push yourself up with. Something definitely to consider, especially if you're having an issue with your balance. All right, well, we're gonna come on through this way and we're gonna head into the kitchen. So we've covered here, we wanna make sure that off the floor, tuck them away, make sure your, your, uh, your floor mats have rubber underneath them. I see something here potentially that could be a problem, and that is the cord on this fan. Anytime you have a cord that I could easily be walking through here not paying attention, and I could fly into the glass or into the door, or just you know hit my head hard on the floor. And we know that falls cause um, head injuries and oftentimes hip fractures. So we wanna be careful with that. So with the cord, when you're done with it, or just at any time, keep it pushed away so that you don't have that possibility of catching your toe on that cord. So they've got a cute little mat here. You're not in Kansas anymore. No, we're in the Morris's home, but they have adhered this, again, with rubber on the backing, so it's not gonna go anywhere. If that wasn't there though, again, I could go sliding. Uh, so as far as cabinets go, I'm short, but even if you're not short, uh, try to keep things off of the top shelves. The things that you're using the most, keep them down lower to where they're more at eye level and arm level. If you have to use a step stool, don't use a lawn chair, don't use uh, a box or a regular chair, but get instead an actual step stool that has the rubber bottom, and then you can safely get what you need, safely get down, and then you wanna fold it up and put it away. You know, lots of times our pets, we don't even think about it. They're always under our feet. 
lots of times we may be fixing a meal or washing dishes or whatever, and they want to be with us. Well, we need to be um, careful. We need to make sure that our pets are not under our feet. And one way you could do that is to possibly put a baby gate at the entrance of your kitchen so that the animals could see you, but they're not going to be right under your feet. Or maybe consider crating them. You know, crating is not a bad thing. Actually, animals like to be crated. It gives them a sense of security. So remember, we love our pets, but we don't want to fall as a result. So I love this little breakfast nook here. But I see here that we've got chairs on wheels. This is a real potential hazard because this could easily slide out from under me. And uh, we don't want that to happen because I could fall and break my hips and who knows what. So you wanna make sure you have good stationary chairs and really chairs with arms. Um, just so again, you have that extra stability when you're sitting down and you're getting up. Uh, they have a glass table, it's gorgeous. But it concerns me because for one, it's got some points on the edge. And the fact again, that if this chair went sliding and I went flying into this glass table, I could really injure myself. So something to consider would be to, uh, you know, just get some good stable chairs. Sometimes we need to make these changes a little bit at a time, but definitely be, uh, you know, be aware of them and know that chairs with wheels can lead to potential problems. Lighting her kitchen is well lit and that's another, another thing we wanna make sure, well lit so we can see where we're stepping. All right, let's go upstairs. Again, with stairs, you wanna make sure that your banister is not loose, that it's tight. If you have real steep stairs, whether they be outside your house or inside, and they're difficult for you to see, then I would suggest getting some bright colored duct tape. They make it in all colors now and putting it on the edges of your steps so that you see that as you're stepping up. Another thing too, easy for us to do because we're intending to go upstairs, but not just yet. So I'm gonna set my things here. Well, I come whipping around the corner because I need to go get something upstairs and guess what happens? I can trip and fall on these things. So again, we want to get them off the floor and for now I'm just going to set them on the table and maybe just make sure that you have a specific place for these things and uh, so that you don't trip on them. So we're using our banister, we're going slowly up the stairs, we're watching what we're doing. We want to make sure that we have lights at the top of your stairs and at the bottom of your stairs. Very important. And that is the case up here. I know Joy shared with me that she was actually staying um, in another home and the bedroom that she was sleeping in was right off the stairs. Well, that night she got up and she wasn't used to this home and she walked and fell right down the stairs. So you can seriously get injured. So they've done a great thing. They have a dimmer here, but they've got the light at the top and they've got a light at the bottom so if you get up during the middle of the night or you have company, make sure they know there's stairs right outside. So we're gonna keep this light on dim so you can see them. So this room is their guest room. Again, she's made it so it's very accessible, very nice. I would suggest just simple things, you know, again, at nighttime or whatever, just make sure that this is tucked in as much as possible so you allow yourself room to get in and out of bed. This is a great example of a chair with arms. It's sturdy, doesn't have any wheels, and I can use it very easily to lower myself and to push myself up to get up. So they've done really a great job in their house. So that's another bathroom. We've talked about the bathroom. So this is the man cave we're entering now. Another nice, you know, beautiful, cozy room. Um, got wheels on our chair though. So that does concern me because I know people who have actually gone to sit back and the chair has gone away from them and they have fallen. So I, you know, would definitely encourage again, a good sturdy chair. They have some recliners here, which are great, but they are on a swivel base. And so it's kind of the same thing. You know, it very easily could swivel. 
So as you're able, definitely be keeping in mind when you're sitting in these chairs, but if you're able, replace these chairs. Chairs that have a uh, just a sturdy base that don't turn, so that's not an issue. And again, chairs that have good arms on them and a good back on them, so you've got the support of sitting down and standing up, being able to push yourself off from the arms. Um, just simple, again, fall hazards off the floor. Put things where they belong. So be courteous of the people that will be coming into the room after you've left it and just make sure things are picked up. All right, well, I think we've got one more room to go to and that is the living room down here. So again, going down the stairs, holding on to the banister, watching my steps, having bright colored duct tape on the edges of the steps if I'm having difficulty seeing, and especially if the steps are steep. Keeping things off of the landing, keeping it clear, and just taking my time. We tend to want to rush everywhere, but taking our time, it's a good thing. So we've got a beautiful living room here. They've got, again, they've got the hardwood floors. So if you're a sock person, wear the kind with the rubber, little rubber beads on the bottom of them for traction. They have this rug secured. So I know that I'm not gonna be able to trip on it by catching the corner of it on my toe. Very smart. One thing that I see here, and I see what they've done, which is great. And um, so here's an example. Say all of this is not on the table and I just have my glass table here. It would be very easy actually to miss the corner or misjudge the corner and trip over that and go flying. So what Joy has done is she's gotten a bright colored table runner here and she also has books on top of it. So when we walk in here, we can see them. That's a good, good uh, you know, landmark that there's a table there. Cords, again, as close to the wall as you can get them, or put, them, put the cords behind furniture so that there's no risk of tripping and falling. So I hope some of these simple tips, and really they are simple, we just need to stop and think, have been beneficial to you. And I gotta, again wanna thank Joy and Fred. They have a verse on their wall, is for me and my house we will serve the Lord, and they certainly do. They are um, wonderful people with passionate hearts. And uh, so we just thank them again. And if you would like to ask us any questions, you can certainly call us at Legacy Home Care. You can reach me at 480-868-1583, or you could go on our website, which is www.legacyhomecare.net. Thank you for your time and have a great day.